Hi everyone, welcome to Dataverse Academy. In today's video, we will learn how we can create a data set and then we will create Power BI dashboard using that data set. Log into your Microsoft Fabric account. Then click on blue left hand corner. Then choose Data Warehouse. Then click on Workspaces. Then click on your workspace. Then click on your data warehouse. If you are not familiar with how to create a data warehouse, please watch my other video. I'll put link in the description. In my earlier videos, we have loaded the data into a data warehouse using data pipeline and copy into command. In this video, we will learn how we can create a data set using fact sale and dimension city table. Then we will create a power BI dashboard using that data set. For that click on model. Here you can see we have all the tables which are lying in our data warehouse. Then we have default data set which is automatically get created. We are not going to use the default data set. We will create our separate data set. To create a data set, click on reporting, then click on new Power BI data set. We will choose fact sale and dimension city table. Then click on confirm. You will be moved to the new window. Here you can see a data set is created successfully. Now we need to create the relationship between fact sale and dimension city table. So we have city key in both the tables. Click on city key, then map it with city key column of fact sale table. Then click on confirm. As you can see, relationship is created successfully. Let's rename our data set. Click on it. Provide significant name. Now we will create Power BI report using this data set. Click on new report. You will be moved to the new window. As you can see, we have dimension city and fact sale table. First, we will create profit by sales territory. For that, I'll use clustered column chart. Click on it and pick sales territory from dimension city and move it to X axis. Then we need to pick the profit from fact sale table. Move it to Y axis. You can see sum of profit by sales territory. Now we will show profit by state provinces. For that, I'll use Azure map. Click on it, pick state provinces and move it to location. Now we will select profit from fax sale table and move it to size. Here you can see sum of profit by state provinces. Now we will show total profit, total tax per day by state and city using table. Pick table, then select invoice date key from Faxel table, city from dimension city, state provinces from dimension city, then profit from Faxel and tax amount from Faxel. Here you can see we got total profit, total tax per day by state and city. Let's save our report. Click on file. Click on save. Provide name to your report. And click on save. Our report is saved successfully in our workspace. Let me close this window and as well as data set window.
Now, if you want to see your data set and report, then click on your workspace. Here you can see our data set and our report. If you want to change anything, anything in your data set, click on it. Then click on open data model. Now you can change in your data set. Let me close it. And if you want to change anything in your report, click on it. Then click on edit. Now you can do the required changes. That's it in this video. So this is how you can create your own data set and you can build Power BI dashboard using that data set. Thank you for watching this video.